This is a drill I like to do to get into the proper throwing position. So the proper throwing position. After I field a ground ball, I'm gonna reel the ball into my belly button when I'm about center of my body is when I start to separate. My elbows go up and my palms go down. So I call this my U shape just because my arms look like a U. Getting here is very important before we actually start our throwing motion. Think of it like hitting. When we hit, we don't start with our hands in the middle of our body because if we do that, we have nothing to work with. We have no power. Same thing with throwing. If I feel the ground ball and I go straight to here or up, I have nothing to work with. When I get back before I throw, I need to make sure my elbows are going back, almost like you're pinching your shoulder blades. We gotta go back in order to produce a lot of power. Another reason I really like this drill, because after I field, and when I get center of my body, I wanna pull this ball straight back into my throwing position. What I don't wanna do is field, bring the ball down and up, because it takes too long. If I can stay short from center of my body back, I'm able to get rid of it a lot quicker. So because I'm using this band with a lot of tension, I cannot go down and up, it won't let me. I have to go straight from the center of my body and pull it back. So this drill really helps me feel that. So I take a band, I have this Tanner Tease band, I clip it at the bottom of the fence, I just take one of the bands and I move back. So I start in my fielding position and I'm, I wanna make sure I have a lot of tension on this band. So from here I field the ball and then I'm gonna come up into my throwing position and then I'm gonna pause making sure that this throwing hand is pulling back. Because you start with a lot of tension, you're really gonna feel having to pull this hand back. You wanna make sure that your hand is separated back away from your body. Also too, after you field and when you go into your throwing position, work on staying low. The more you come up, the more you're losing power and you're just holding on the ball too long. So I start back here, pretend to field a ball, I come up in my throwing position, my U shape, and then I'm gonna go back down. I like to do this maybe about 10 times to feel that stretch.